So let's look at the benefits of a, of a website for an internet, for an entrepreneur who is willing to take their business online. So like I said, uh, you find people, they are promoting an awesome product on Instagram, on Facebook. And then the next thing they are telling you is to view their profile, to message you. Or sometimes it doesn't even have a goal. So it should have a goal. When you have a website, people are able to book appointments and people are able to, to uh, shop from you. And they can shop from you throughout the day, 24 hours. Okay, people can book appointments 24 hours. And you can be found everywhere. You can be found on Google, YouTube. You can be found on Microsoft, on Bing Microsoft. You can be found everywhere with a website. Okay, so what are the benefits of a website? Number one is credibility. When you have a website, you have the ability to go to, to be on Google because of something called console, Google console, and also Facebook, and also Google ads. So when people search and they find you appearing on Google, they trust you more. People have this mentality that it's very expensive to set up a website, okay? They have that mindset, okay? And they take you seriously when you have a website, okay? And then inside that website, you have reviews and you also have very, very good content that's making you credible. You're describing your products, you're describing your service, and that makes people want to deal with you, okay? Because you have proven your online, your online is, is, so long as you have a website, people already trust in you. They have somewhere they can, they have something they can turn to. But when you don't have a website and they have an alternative, something that's more credible, they will go to be clients of that particular person. Another thing is that you're able to do something called data collection. If you are here when I was teaching about Facebook marketing, you will, uh, I said, uh, if you have a Facebook page that has 150,000 followers or likes, and this data you have is a lot and it's on Facebook, and you don't have that data on your website, a person who has a website and has data of just 500 people is likely to make more money than you on the first day or, or, or in a week's time. If, if, they, if they become consistent, a person with a website is likely to make money, make money easier than you who doesn't have a website because they are able to collect data using a very important tool called Google Analytics. And when you go to, to Bing, there is, a there, is a, there is a tool called Bing UTE tag. And when you go to Facebook, there is a tool called Facebook Pixel. But even if you have not installed those and you have installed Google Analytics, you can be able to retarget everywhere with Google Analytics. It's the most important tool in a website. And if you have a website and it doesn't have Google Analytics, go to your developer and tell them, install my website at Google Analytics and add Google Facebook Pixel, Google Conversion Tracking, and Bing UTE tag. They should be in your website. They are the one that drop that cookie which follows the customer everywhere. And with a website, you will be able to retarget people. Now you have gained credibility. People have clicked on your ad. Now you have collected their data, okay? Now you are retargeting them. You see that ad that follows you everywhere for Alibaba, for Jumia, that ad, that is where your money is, okay? So you keep following customers and reminding them you had looked at my product and you have to look at it again and you even have to buy it. You make them make sure they have put, put it in the tag and then in your email, in the, in the, in the cart. And then in the email, you are busy sending them the, uh, the cart abandonment email. You see, when you shop on Jumia, you are able to send someone the cart abandonment, um, the cart abandonment uh, email. But without a website, you cannot be able to achieve that. Without email marketing, you cannot be able to achieve retargeting, okay? 
so it's so important to have a website so that you can retarget customers on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, everywhere they go on the internet, on blogs, they will be seeing you and getting tired with you and they will make the decision of buying. They have no option. Okay. And then we have reviews. Here, I said uh, we credibility, people will still see reviews. But what is the power of reviews apart from building credibility? A, re a good review, a good review will bring you more customers. A bad review will, will uh, make you know the weaknesses of your business and work on it. Do not underestimate reviews, no matter how bad they are, they mean something. Customers have nothing against you. They just want to tell you how horrible your product is. If it's horrible, my friend, work on it. Do you know how much it is to hire a consultant to help you work on your product? Now with reviews, you don't need a consultant. You, your customers are giving you free consultation and they are the people who are in contact with your product and you want reviews from verified purchases. You don't want reviews from people who have not even uh, used your product, okay? So are we together on that? Can I see people on the chat telling me if we are together? So today I had to do something that I usually don't do. I really move away from uh, PowerPoint and I think that's what actually distracted me because I was trying to like understand these websites and there is one thing I want you to look at when you come here you see something and when you click it's called a Facebook pixel helper okay this pixel is the one that will help you follow people everywhere they go on Facebook whether they go to my Facebook messenger when you are retargeting them okay that is the purpose of this tool. It is already installed in this website. And this website, I do buy their, their products. They have incredible products, okay? And I want you to see they have reviews. Whether they are 33 reviews everywhere, they have reviews. They only have 33 reviews for the whole website, okay? If you are to come here and enable and refresh you will notice that they have google analytics installed in their website okay so when you now come and click here this is what you get it has a global a global site tag it has a global ad retargeting remarketing tag and it has Google Analytics, okay? So every time you install your Google Analytics, and there is also another uh, tool that is called the Google Conversion Tracking. This is the Google Conversion Tracking. It's the site tag, and this is also uh, the one that helps you with remarketing. This, you can see they have different this one, this one, the Google Analytics is different from the remarketing one. That's why this is what helps them remarket you. I've never seen them remark, retargeting me anywhere else. I only see them on Facebook. I don't know why, but I want to tell you this website does a good job when it comes to remarketing, okay? And you will never see them telling customers uh, if you have questions, dm me okay they are doing things like professionals they're doing marketing the way it should be they have the shop now button so let's say i click on this product you can see it has where i can add the cut it has where i can view the product it will pop up in the screen and i can also i can also show some love i can add it to my wish list you see it pops up and you're able to even purchase, make an order here. You are able to order as many products as you wish. Now, it's 8.20. You are in my, it's called what? You are in my Zoom class. 
and you are busy running an ad telling people to DM you the prices. Just do an ad and tell people to shop so that when you leave my meeting, you will go and attend to probably 10, 10 orders and pack them and ship them. You will not be busy responding to, to, to texts with people bargaining your products, okay? And you selling your products at a, at a throwaway price because you, you, you have gotten a client. You don't want to do that type of a business. Then uh, we come here when you click on the product and then you scroll down, you can see she explains how to use a product. Now, can you imagine yourself having 20 people in your DM asking you how to use a product? This is why you need a website and then they have delivery and, and frequently asked questions and they have reviews, okay? So if someone is allergic to anything that's here, they will avoid the product, okay? They won't come to ask you, will I be allergic? Okay, so if, if, if I'm allergic to something here, I'll come and see because it describes everything. Even the booking, the ones for booking, they describe everything. Even for what? Even for any website, if, if you're going to consult a doctor, you just, you, you, you just put in the details. If you're going to consult a, a dentist, you, you do an ad call. If you want people to add, avoid message ad. It's expensive. It's so expensive because you keep getting charged every message you send, okay? Now, another thing, frequently bought together. Now, take yourself to a shop, probably in Kamukonji, Isili, or somewhere in Westlands, okay? You are buying a wig, and then they tell you, this wig goes well with this oil, okay? This wig goes well with this comb. You have sold that person great products. Website gives you the same power, okay? Now, frequently bought together. You now buy this one with two other products. You are to spend how much? You are to spend $23.50. Now, you are telling them they also need this because they love their skin so much. They will buy them together. Now 23, 23.50 has become 58.50. Okay? Now can you imagine getting 10 orders every day of this amount? That is 58,000. Okay? And that's the way you should be, do business and with a website and then you scroll down you can see something called related products okay so these products are related to this product okay they they clear spots this one clear 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 blemishes on the face that is the same way you should you should make your website if you if you don't have money to to hire a web designer then create time to design your own website. Watch tutorials on YouTube. Watch tutorials on Udemy. Watch tutorials on my courses. I talk about designing, and I will talk about designing an e-commerce website. Okay? Make sure you have terms of use, privacy policy, and everything, and your social media. There is one thing they have avoided they have avoided a live chat. If possible, avoid the live chat. It's a waste of time. People will never read the description of the product. They want things explained to you. And that is why very soon, when I set up everything, automation, everything will be communicated by email in my academy. No WhatsApping, no calls, no nothing. If you are doing any form of business, like teaching, if you're doing any form of business, like the way this website is doing, use reviews, give descriptions, just avoid, uh, avoid people. They have allowed you to, to get help via WhatsApp, but I'm telling you this. They have made it so well that 
most of us will will not even have interest in it they have avoided a live chat yeah personally i would avoid a live chat at any cost okay then uh, let's go to this website it's called jumia so do we have any question regarding our website please make sure you write questions so we have a website called jumia it's the biggest e-commerce company we have in Africa okay so we all know that uh, when you're going to Jumia you're going to buy okay we know that when you're going to Facebook you're going to socialize when you're going to Google you're going to search so I I posted my mom's peg here and in the in in, in less than in, in a day we had a uh, one sale okay it was the easiest place I've ever gotten a sale on Jumia and it's so powerful because people know it. And it has grown so powerful because of Facebook, okay? So when people, when you create awareness with Facebook, people keep talking about you. People keep referring you. When I want beauty products, when you go to Facebook groups and ask about beauty products, they are likely to recommend Beauty Hub. They are likely to recommend Beauty Hub to you so make sure you create a brand on facebook that's easy to remember okay beauty hub jumia facebook itself is facebook.com google tiktok twitter youtube something easy to remember do not make the name so difficult when you're having your domain name and then for you to have a website you need something called a domain, which is that .co.ke or that .com or that .gov, government, or that .org. That is now a domain. If you want to have content, if you want to have photos, videos, an academy, pop-ups, everything, it is done with the hosting, okay? Now from here, from here, going down, it's hosting that has done that work. So you need two tools, a domain and a hosting. And from there, you can install WooCommerce and you will be ready to set up a website, okay? So with a website, you are able to display your logo, okay? You are able to help people search, for anything they wish to search. If you want them to search, they are able to log in. They are able to ask for help. And I want you to note these websites. They don't, they don't offer just help that easily. You have to be so keen to look, to look for help for you to get it. Because you are here to shop, they want you to shop. They don't want so much. They don't want so many questions. They just want you to shop. That is their goal, no distractions, okay? And then they have a cart. An e-commerce website should always have a cart. All e-commerce websites need a cart. This is the cart, okay? It's very important. You can't have an e-commerce website without a cart, okay? Then we have... Um, now these are the products and let's now come to at least one product and see how Jumia does it. So when, when you explain things, when you explain the delivery fee on your website, you see even Beauty Hub, they have, ex, they, they have, they have done the delivery and FAQ. People will not call you or bother you about delivery, they will read because they're interested in your product, okay? You are the only one who can teach these people. My website, you have to read through. Do not keep asking questions. You will, you, will keep, uh, you will keep answering a thousand questions. You will keep answering one question a thousand times, okay? Now, you can see the ratings, okay? Most people will buy this product because it has this rating and it has foster rating. And that is why you should, you should really, really have your, you should have your ratings 
inside your website. They are so powerful. They will transform your business, whether good or bad. The good ones make you more sales. The bad ones make you make you make better decisions. So if you're going to take a bad sale and allow it to use to to ruin your day, it will not do you any justice. It will just make you frustrated. Then let's scroll down and see people can be able to add to cart and then you can see door to door delivery you can also tell people whether you provide door to door delivery you if you have a pickup station you can let them know if you have a pickup station in cbd if you have a pickup station do not make it free assume in a day you charge probably 50 shillings on a pickup station and every day you are having 10 orders or probably or probably 20 orders in a day let's say you even you, you, you even uh say it's 97 shillings or 100 shillings and every day you are having people pick up a product 10 products at 100 shillings that is 1000 shillings every day every month that is 30,000 shillings. Do you know what that means? That pickup station, this fee, that pickup station is being paid for by the customers. The same way they are paying the delivery is the same way they are paying for the pickup station, okay? Always have the return policy on your page if you want to win a conflict with a, with a, with a, with a buyer. Whether you are in consulting, you have an online academy, you are an affiliate. Affiliates should have a disclaimer. Affiliates should just have a disclaimer. They don't have a return policy. You should have a return policy, okay? And the privacy policy, explaining everything, including the shipping policy, okay? And the refund policy, explaining how you will refund, you will return the product, and how you will ship the product. If people go to refund money, on PayPal, on um, this other one for Kenya, it's PesaPol. You will not be able to win a conflict if you don't have a return policy, if you don't have a refund policy. You should have those policies in place. Another thing with a website is that you are able to give promotions, okay? And let's come back to this personal website. They are saying it Mubarak orders placed on and delivered on this. Oh, they are not. I thought they were giving an order. You have the ability to come here and say 20% off orders above $100. Or you have the ability to come and say a free delivery for 100 for orders above 100 You still have the ability to give a coupon. You still have the ability to give a coupon in these in, 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 in these types of orders. And if you look at these guys, when you see they are at the first time and then you engage with it the second time, they are always giving you an offer. Okay. They are giving you a 10% off coupon. That is only possible if you have a website. That's when people are able to use coupons. And we know in real sense there is no discount you're giving them entrepreneurs have already done their mathematics they know there is still profit okay so whether they give you a disc whether you give people a discount or not you're still making profit okay so um you see they also you see they are using also a coupon code so that's all we have about a website and then you can see uh, you are able to give product description you are able to tell people this with image you are, you are able to tell the story of a product using images and on top of that you can embed youtube videos describing your product using video okay so you can see product description becomes so easy with visuals you can see all this it's so easy, very easy. So you, you don't need to 
to, 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 to keep asking support, okay? And you can learn from Jumia. Jumia doesn't have support, but it's, the, it's where people buy the most, okay? So let's continue. You see their specification. And then customers who viewed this also viewed. You see, even Jumia themselves, they are upselling. They say, maybe he doesn't like that. Let's show them these ones, okay? Let's, the customers also bought, they bought this cable and they also bought this power bank, okay? So it's so important to sell on a website. You see product reviews are there and yeah, that's it. They have the footer there. And now let's also go back to this product and um, these ones, they don't have a story to tell on the side. Let's look for a product that they have a story to tell. Mm. Let's look at this one. So here we are, you can see uh, they have the product here. I don't know why they are not um, showing the product inside how it looks like. I don't know why they are not doing that. And I don't know why they don't have a video because if I venture into cosmetics, I would really love to show videos of women. And also, uh, by the way, did you know you can have reviews popping up here every time a customer is on your website? You have reviews popping up and they have images. Uh, of customers who have used them, okay? So customers have probably used your product. They, they, they have gotten good results. They have the before and after, and they post a, a, a photo reviews. Those reviews are the most converting reviews and the video reviews. Make sure if you're getting into e-commerce, you, you invest in that tool. It's so powerful. It's around $15 a month. It will change your business, okay? Even if it includes uh, investing an extra $15 a month to make an extra $500, trust you me, guys, it's worth it, okay? So um, I don't have much I want to add on the website thing. That is all I had prepared for today um, because there is not much to talk about in a website, I think. Now, I hope you understand the, the importance of a website. So when you're coming uh, now to, to want a website, now you know why you want a website. You know you want it for credibility. You know you want it for data. You want it for retargeting and you want it for reviews. You don't want a website because you want to take care of customers. You, do, you don't want to be customer support. Learn from Google. Uh, learn from Amazon. It doesn't have support. Learn from those live chat things that are always here. I don't like them. If someone wants support, they just go to this. They look for these ones. They don't even have you. You you do like the one for Jumia. You do this one. They come here. They send you an email. You explain things from there. Okay. So that's all I had for today. I think now I want to answer your questions. If you have any questions, I would uh, open up for questions.